Hey, everybody. Yes, honey, it's your girl, Dolores Jones, the comeback coach without makeup, honey. Listen, let's have a little fun. You know, we can be so serious all the time, but I just thought we should have a little fun uh, because it's so hot outside that I took my bra off and I threw it across the room. That's how hot it is. It is so hot outside that I almost shaved my head bald and cut my eyebrows off too, okay? It's so hot outside that I just, just took everything. I took eyelashes off. I was I, done. My face was melting. It's so hot outside. Now, back in the day, we were called this doing the dozens. So I want you to, you know, fill in the blank. It's so hot outside. And let's just have a little fun. Okay, can we do that? Okay. So this is a true story. Thursday, my son Ricky took me uh, looking for a car because y'all know I've still been car shopping. Well, he doesn't have air in his car. That is the devil. And we decided to go look around 3.30. So it was like in the heat of the day. It was like so hot. I was like, oh my God. Even Bella was in the back going, help me, help me, help me, mommy, help me, mommy. So I had to go in. <laughs> she said, it's so hot. She said, it's hot as fish, fish grease, honey. Listen, if we were playing a game called heaven or hell, I would say, I choose heaven, Alex, for 200. This will make you get saved. Want to make you get saved? I mean, if you believe in hell, baby, you just go outside for about five minutes. Go outside for five minutes. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a really funny story. One of the reasons I don't um, do a lot of wigs, you know, like wearing wigs, is because I get so hot. And I remember I went to Kamish and you know, some people glue their hair down and all the other stuff. And I said, well, just braid my hair up and then, you know, sew the wig on. <laughs> Honey, I called Kamish. I said, I have to come back to your shop and I need you to cut this wig off. I will, I need it where I can put it on and take it off, put it on and take it off, okay? Okay? All right. So any of y'all that's out there rocking these wigs, I just want you to know, I know you hot. You got to be hot. Okay. Y'all even notice, listen, I got this little hat on, baby, because I couldn't do my African raps. Okay. So back to me and Ricky. So we're playing, we're having fun. It's so hot outside and you fill in the blank and then I'm going to add yours. And so this is, we're going to really be naked and not ashamed. Okay. It's so hot outside. I took my bra off and I tossed it across the room. And you know, a girl can, I, listen, I wanted to buy, ladies, what are those little things now where you don't even have to have a bra on, you take it and cover up your, you know, your, your precious nipple? Yeah, I need some of those. I bought some, but they were too small. Okay. What'd she say? I can't do wigs or we, baby. This is what you, this, listen, this is the reason why you have to have a healthy self-esteem. Ladies. You have to be so confident in what you look like without makeup on because summertime is the, is the truth. Okay. You can't walk outside with all this layer of makeup on and you think you're cute, but it's just like peeling off like skin. We're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. Okay. So, okay. So back to what I was telling y'all first, it's so hot outside for real. Okay. It was so hot outside on Thursday when my son took me looking for a new automobile. I was looking for SUV. Ricky didn't have air in his car. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus. And he said, okay, mom, you're going to say Jesus again? I said, oh, Jesus. So here I am. I have an African wrap on. Y'all know I was dressed to the nines because you're doing business. And Ricky didn't have any heat. Bella's in the back seat panting like a dog because she is a dog i wanted to join her so i said ricky i'm gonna go in here to this convenience store get the gas and i'm gonna get some ice and some cups and some water i even got bella her own cup of ice and her own bottle of water it's that serious and bella just kept drinking it just kept drinking it kept drinking it so ricky's we were trying to have a conversation but we had all his windows down he said mom i can't hear you i was like oh jesus so listen y'all by the time we finished shopping and I didn't find a car, because let me tell y'all something, it was so hot outside. 
I couldn't even remember, remember my PIN number. I was trying to get my son some money. And we went to the ATM and I tried three times. Do you hear me? I could not remember my PIN number. So <laughs> we go and I test drove this, you know, I'm not looking for a brand new car. That doesn't make sense right now. All the money I need, I'm going to put in savings. Okay. I had to check myself too. And the guy's like, do you like it? I'm thinking, sweetheart, we ain't even going to talk about nothing. I'm going home. So, you know, Ricky, you know, people get moody when, when it's hot. This is the time you can really see how a person really is. You know, it, everybody can be comfortable when, when the air condition is on and your tummy is full. But the true test of a person is when they get hot. See what they do. Do they fly off the handle? Do they start cussing? Yeah, this is, you're going to get to see what men and women are made of right now. Now, I'm doing this because I even took my contacts off, honey. Okay, so I got to get closer to read some of your stuff. She's, so Arlene said, it can be so hot, you take your TV and sit in... <laughs> She said it can be so hot that you could take your TV in the frozen food section at the store. You best believe it, honey. How about you go in Walmart and just plug in one of their fans? So I'm like, yeah, I got these outlets where we can check these fans. Okay, let me finish the story about me and Ricky. So, honey, when I got home, Ricky was ready to go. He, he, he was like ready to go. He was ready to go. And, and he's like, Mom, here's your, I mean, he was just rushing. Like, I ain't got no more time. Because we went, where do we go? We went, listen, I went to a car dealership and I got there and I told the man I was coming. And when I get there, they tell me it went to the shop. First of all, do you know it's almost 150 degrees outside and ain't nobody playing with you and I'm in the car with my son and he has no air? Do you understand that? And I got this African wrap and the little makeup I did have on is gone. And I got this dog that's panting like a dog. It was crazy. So we stopped at another one and they didn't have anything. So I said, okay, Ricky, take me to one more place. So we go out to Johnson County and I saw this uh, infinity, not something like for look, $3,000. Okay. And they were usually the same thing. And the man said, we just sold it. I was like, oh Jesus. By this time I was so delirious. I said, sir, can we just sit in your lobby? Oh sure. Come on in. Honey, me and Ricky and Bella, Bella's just laid out on the carpet <laughs> inside of the dealership. Ricky was, I, listen, I know we stayed there a good 45 minutes. And I did not buy anything from him. Okay? That's how hot it is. I couldn't think. I couldn't think. It was so hot outside that I couldn't remember my PIN number. And I was trying to get my son, you know, money. If, you know, I wanted to hook him up with some stuff. And he's like, Mom mom so then i said well take me to walmart because you know walmart i can buy something and then they'll you know give me some money back well they changed that did y'all know that did y'all know that okay um so i get there you know and i said i didn't tell ricky this and he was pretty upset about it hold on let me tell you something i did a little shopping you know how your mama say i'm gonna run in here and get you this food stamp or i'm gonna go in here and get this money order but then it so so by the time i got grab a few things because i didn't have a car um Ricky had been outside in the car with no air with Bella for 30 minutes. So, you know, he came in. He was not happy. Now, I wasn't happy either because I went to the self-checkout and then it said, well, you can't get money from there. So that meant now I got to go stand in this line. So I get up to the front and here comes Ricky. He's like, I knew it. I mean, he's really upset. I understood. So this young man is ringing up my stuff and I said, I need to get money back. So I, you know, how you give him your card and the, 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 um, Purchase is so small, it, it just lets it go through. So next thing you know, I end up buying a pack of gum. And I said, okay, let me let me buy these M&Ms that I didn't need, y'all. That was the devil. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to buy the m and stop it. So then I push uh, credit or debit, and it, and it won't take it. And then it rings up. So then I said, okay, 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 we're going to try this again. So my son is like breathing over me. And so I said, okay, we're going to buy these Twizzlers. Y'all, this is a $4 bag of Twizzlers. Okay. I bought these because I was trying to get some money for my son. <laughs> and I just said, forget it. When we got to the Oreo cookies, I said, no, I can't get on with them Oreo cookies. You know how you pick stuff up in your, ba in your basket and you get up there and you start thinking about all the fat you got on your back. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'm about to put these cookies back. And so I just said, no. So the young man, I said, sir, I need some money back. 
I, he said, well, the gum already rang up. I said, well, re refund it. I can't refund it. I said, why can't you? He said, ma'am, there's an ATM over there. Now, Ricky doesn't believe me, but did you all know? I didn't know that there was an ATM in Walmart. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. So Ricky's like, mom, how are you not going to know? I said, Ricky, I don't know. It was so hot outside. I was delirious. You better be glad I can remember my name. Hold on. What, what y'all saying? Okay, y'all supposed to tell me. It's so hot outside. This is like the dozens back when we were kids. Your mom was so fat. We used to do that, okay? Don't get hurt. Don't get cut. Okay? Okay, don't get cut. Okay, don't get cut today. Don't get cut today. See, it's okay to act goofy. What'd you say now? Oh, you didn't either? Yeah. Uh, Walmart got an ATM machine. So finally we go over to get the ATM machine. Now, let me back up. Let me back up a little. So when I go to Walmart, I'm like, let me go grab like five things. And so I didn't grab a basket. So next thing you know, I saw somebody and said, do, do you see a basket somewhere? And I walked by, by them. But I caught myself being quick. Didn't work. I ended up getting two two cartons of orange juice. Baby, just forget it. Bread, stuff for tacos. <laughs> and so the lady goes and gives me this little thing. So now this thing is heavy because I got all this junk in it, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, T. Um, so anyway, so I'm looking through Walmart. I'm looking for an empty basket. Babies, let me tell y'all what happened. Don't judge me. So I took the little carrying bag cart and I put it in top of this basket with all this stuff, the go bags, right? <laughs> y'all not going to believe this. I put it in there with the go back. So people thought I was going to buy all this stuff. And I looked at the man behind me and I said, this isn't all my stuff. I'm just getting the stuff in the little blue cart. He said, okay, so now we got my stuff. Ricky's upset. I got like five bags. I wasn't supposed to have any because I wasn't supposed to go shopping. Now we got to go up to the ATM. And I'm just like, son, calm down. Mom, me and Bella, we sat outside 30 minutes. Why didn't you, you know, so I let him get it off. And then my son is, he is very intelligent. But I was like, back the hell up, okay? Okay, listen, so it gets crazier. So now I'm at the ATM machine. And I can't remember my PIN number. Did you hear me talking to you? I tried four different PIN numbers and I get did not get any money. It got so bad because Ricky was in a hurry. I took out my card to get the customer service number on the back of the card. I couldn't see it, y'all. I'll be 50 in November. Check your eyes, okay? So I'm shining a light on the back of the card and I'm asking Ricky to uh, uh, tell me what the card number is. So I'm calling. Next thing you know, I have two cell phones and one cell phone has the app that I needed. Child, it was crazy. So I go on. I have to literally go on the app and change my PIN number. So then I uh, changed the PIN number. I tried again as debit and it wouldn't take it. Then I tried it as credit with the number. It took it, but then it charged me $2. Walmart owed me $2, okay? So anyway, so now me and my son, we're leaving. But here's the kicker. So Ricky thinks all of this stuff in the basket is mine. <laughs> he does. So he's pushing out, you know, and I'm I'm just ready to go because now I'm confused. I'm delirious. The heat. I can't remember nothing. And my son is upset. My my um my hair wrap is just all over like cock deuce, just crazy. So as he going as he's as we're leaving out Walmart. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this. As we're leaving out Walmart, Ricky's taking the basket. And I said, no, no, no. Wait, wait, Ricky. Wait, wait. That's not mine. And so he's like, what, mom? I said, go get the car. He's like, no, mom. I said, Ricky, go get the car. No, mom. <laughs> so I tell the guy, and he said, oh, just take it with you. Now, I'm trying to tell the Walmart guy that all this stuff is not mine. But he keeps saying, take it with you. Take it with you. So I'm looking at Ricky. He's like, Mom, what are you going to do? I said, he said, take it with us, right? So we're pushing this basket. I got, what do you call them? Sh sure drinks, cases of them, two big old things of uh, 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 Arm Hammer baking soda. I didn't even know it came in that. And then a package of them uh, oatmeal cook. No, those those individual packs of 
of Oreo cookies and then some stuff I didn't even know what to do with, right? So we get to Ricky's car. Now he's still pissed off because it's hot and he don't have no air and I took too long. Okay, so I'm like, Ricky, he, he told me to take it. So <laughs> Ricky opens his trunk and he realizes the stuff that I'm getting ready to take because the guy told me to take it. I hadn't paid for it. And I said, Ricky, I don't know what to do, you know, because now I'm like, if I take it back in there, he's going to think I tried to steal it. But I tried to tell the man, this, he was a young guy, young guy, that this isn't my stuff. And he said, just take it. So I was like, OK, maybe it's a blessing. Uh, uh. My son is a man of integrity and I raised him that way. So y'all have to imagine this. I start putting some of the stuff I wanted out the basket that I didn't pay for. But the guy told me to take the basket and I was putting it in Ricky's trunk. Ricky says, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to take this stuff. So I'm like, Ricky, stop playing. So I put the Armour Hammer baking soda in his trunk. He takes it back out. So then I put the Oreo cookies in there. He takes the cookies back out. So then what else did I try to put in there? Oh, and then I had this supplement of celery juice. He said, did you pay for that? I said, no. He said, put it back. I said, well, and now the basket full of the stuff is outside in the parking lot at Walmart. I kid y'all not. And I'm like, Ricky, stop playing. He said, mom. If you don't put that stuff back, I'm going to leave you and Bella right here. And I believed him because he was really pissed off. And I was like, Ricky, what? He, listen, y'all. Ricky would not let me take anything that wasn't mine, although the guy told me to take it. So we're in the car and now Ricky's telling me, Mom, you raised me as a person of integrity. He said, I don't care if somebody told you to take something. Do you know the police was just here arresting a man who was trying to steal a flat screen TV? And I was like, he was? He said, that's why the police car is here. And mom, if the police come up here and ask me about this stuff, not only are you going to jail, I'm going to jail. And I don't have time for this. Don't ever, mom, don't you ever put any stolen goods in my car. Now I'm looking like, you calling me a thief. Well, he was calling me on my stuff. He said, even though you know the guy was wrong, you should have just said, this is not my stuff. And just took your little blue thing and came on out. Y'all know, you know, sometimes things like that happen. You'd be like, Jesus, is that you? No. So I gave my son my word. I said, Ricky, you know, after you stop fussing, I said, I will walk in integrity when no one is looking. He goes, mom, you're the comeback coach, right? You on TV. You got your YouTube channel. Now, what would happen if you was arrested at Walmart? You, nobody would believe you anymore. And I said, he right. But he let me have it, y'all, all the way home. I was like, okay. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry. And I was like, don't say nothing. And then I had to realize he was really right. Don't you hate when your kids are right? Okay, so back to the whole thing. So now we get home. What'd you say? Heat plus frustration stories too funny. I know, right? You'd be like, I don't even like you. Okay, so I had to calm down and you know how usually you be trying to go toe to toe with your kids, but actually my son was right. And I felt embarrassed. I said, son, I am so sorry. I said, I give you my word from here on out. If I can't afford it, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to leave it there. Now, y'all do know some of us was praying for that checkout ministry. Buy one, get two free. Okay, it's hard out here on a pimp. That's why they, they had to stop the stuff. Okay, so I gave Ricky my word. So. Now, when I go shopping, I'm just going to get what I need. Because part of the problem is, you know, how you just get stuff because you think you're going to need it. And then you don't have enough. Yeah. So anyway, hold on. Yeah, I got it. Let me, let me adjust myself. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? Now, I'm getting close because my, my, my contacts ain't on and stuff. It's so hot. I don't want to wear nothing. Like I told y'all, it was so hot outside. Listen. That I took my bra off and threw it across the room. I said, this is the devil. And I wanted to get those little things, y'all. The little thing. Let me show y'all. Hold on. You want to see him? What'd you say, Emily? Y'all want to see it? Okay, hold on. Don't go nowhere. Hold on. Okay, you still there? Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Help. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me, let me fix myself. Don't you go nowhere because it's too hot outside to go anywhere anyway. Okay. Hold on. Let me fix that. Hi. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So I'm going to demonstrate with my shirt on, of course. Uh, turn that right there like that. Praise the Lord. Okay, ladies. So this is supposed to be the cure when you want to go braless, okay? What'd y'all say? Okay. So listen, I saw this on Facebook. And this little thing, I'm going to show you the sexy one. So. These are supposed to cover your nipple. And you're supposed to lift it up. And you ain't supposed to need a bra. Now y'all see where it comes, right? This whole thing covers my nipple, okay? So. I was like. And this is a triple a, a triple L XL right X X X L. This is not for me. I need to find a plus women's uh, uh, thing. So I need to send these back. Anybody want to buy them? Because th these are brand new. So you're supposed to, you know, grab your girl, put them there, and it's the, y'all see that? Ain't that a mess? Okay. Well, the first time I tried it, I almost pulled my skin off. Do you hear me? Because these holes. Let me see if I can show you the holes. The holes. Okay. Ooh, that's, it's some sticky stuff too. It will pull your nipple off. <laughs> if you get the wrong size, it will pull your nipple off. I'm not playing with y'all. Hold on. You see that? You see how much? That's the adhesive. Jesus. This is coming off of plastic. It's because I can't find what I did with the other people. Okay, I'm not putting that back on there again. Y'all see how hard this is? This is supposed to be on your nipple. This is the devil. Girl, let me tell y'all something. Hold on, let me get this off. You supposed to put this on your skin. That's the devil. You better be careful. Ooh, okay, so. I just had a fight. Okay. Let me fix myself up right now. Hallelujah. Okay, so this here. Thing. Can y'all see that? That rubber thing. So your nipple, your nipple is supposed to go right there, right? And then this is supposed to, you know, be around your nipple so that you don't pull your nipple off. So because this was too small, I ended up putting it on. And when it came time, y'all saw how hard it was to get off this plastic. That's what it felt like for my skin. Girl, what'd you say? Somebody said, what'd you say? Okay. Anyway, this we having a personal conversation today, family. Everybody out there, family. But if you want to click tag and share with somebody, so buyer beware, ladies. If you're plus size and blessed and endowed like me, and you know something I don't know, please let me know because this almost took my breast off. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Now back to the the scheduled program. Let me put this right there. See what happens. Y'all see that? You want your nipples, you better be careful. I'm telling you. Y'all see that? That would be on your skin. Hold on, I'm trying to match it up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think I paid like 30 something bucks for these because I really was like, okay, I can go around braless, baby. Never. Okay, anyway. I might have to do like our grandma did. Remember, they would take some pantyhose and cut cut the legs off the pantyhose and then they would... <laughs> They were creative. This stuff is so sticky. <coughs> That's the devil. Stop it. Okay. So anyway, I have some of these that aren't haven't been worn. If y'all want them, and you know, if you're in the itty bitty committee, this will work for you. It just didn't work for me. Okay. So Dolores Jones is my name, the comeback coach, and I'm just having a little fun with y'all today. Mm -hmm. Cause it's so hot outside that somebody said they want to. Uh, uh, take their TV and go to the frozen food section in some of the stores. Now it was so hot for me, I was delirious. I couldn't remember my ATM number. I got to Walmart, I could not remember my ATM number. I'm holding up the line because I can't remember my ATM number. My son is pissed off because I wasn't considerate of his time, plus he was outside. 
I was like, Ricky, you want a new car? I'm going to ask God to help me, baby. Because the one I gave him, he had air. But this one he bought on his own, no air. But you know, these young folks, they don't need air. Me, I got to have some air. So by the time me and, me and Bella get home, Ricky drops us, off, drops us off. So I'm like, oh, God. I had a conference call. Baby, I put that conference call on mute. And I got in the shower and I was listening to the call while I was in the shower. And then I looked at I looked at Bella. And I said, baby, I know you're miserable too. So I gave Bella a bath. I gave my dog a bath, baby. And I put lavender soap and oils in there for her. And, you know, like I would give myself. And, baby, she stood in that water and got that bath. You hear me? And then I dried her off just like a baby. And I wrapped her up in that little thing, honey. She came and laid out and went to sleep. And by the time I finished with her bath, the whole conference call was done. But, listen, that's how hot it is. You may need to just go ahead and decide to go bald headed. Now I've been bald before, not remember that total baldness, but pretty much very low. And I was thinking about doing it again. Okay. Anyway, so let's get some of your stories. I said it is so hot outside. Fill in the blank. What did you say, Tyrona? I pass on that. I saw these on Facebook. I know, honey. Honey. Oh, yeah, because you want your nipples. Okay, maybe I need to do a video called Do You Want Your Nipples? <laughs> People are like, what is divorce talking about now? Do you want your nipples? So anyway, y'all, I just figured we would have some fun because there's so much going on. Coronavirus, the heat, um, you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I've had to recenter myself because today I went looking for another car. I went looking for another SUV and the people were so kind. They came and picked me up, you know, like enterprise, we pick you up, but they ain't trying to do all that because of coronavirus. I was like, look, I got the money. I don't have a ride. So the man came and got me. I test drove a Volkswagen, really nice car, really nice. But when I think in terms of SUVs, I want something big, you know, like big, big, big and strong. Like I like my men. Anyway, um, that is the truth though. Mm -hmm. But you know, Lord, I, you know, if he loved me and treated me with, uh, how skinny can he be, Jesus? See, here's the reason I really don't know if I should date a very thin man. Because with all of this sexy, I might break his bones, okay? You can't put, the man would be like, y'all did see them videos with these young, these skinny men, one of these plus size women, and one woman's breast was so large, the man's in the bed with her and he, he, he she smothered him to death. She woke up and the man was dead. <laughs> That's how big her breast was. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. But we're back. We're having a little fun today. So I'm trying to read some more of your things. Uh, so <laughs> Rachel said, I literally considered freezing a bra and panties. <laughs> Girl, just go without panties and bra. That's just what you got to do. Okay. I bet you blood pressure is low. Are you anemic? When lips just get, girl, don't try to diagnose me right now. I'm messing with you, Emily. Yeah, electrolytes and all that. Today I had my celery juice because my back was was so hurt so badly. But anyway, what are you all doing to cope with the heat? Mm -hmm. I know. Look, if I see y'all outside with all this weed, I'm going to pray for you because I know you're miserable. You cannot go outside with the temperature the way it is, swinging all that hair that you bought. Is yours. And and thinking you fine. Girl, please. Girl, please. Girl, please. Please. You, listen, you better learn how to do the updo, but the updo wasn't working for me, honey. I had to take all that stuff off. I had to take it off. Uh, what's that song said? I, God wants it all. I was like, here you go, Jesus. Take the bra, everything. Jesus, I, save me, Lord. Just save me. Make heaven my home because it's too hot. Somebody said, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. This is the time for you to get naked. Mm -hmm. And if you walk outside naked, just tell them, listen, I'm naked and not ashamed because Jesus paid it off. <laughs> I actually had a friend who did that, Lord rest her soul. I love her. I missed her. Yeah, she said she just, you know, she was just walking on down the street <laughs> in the bus. But it happens, honey. It happens. Okay, Beverly. I did the big chop. You did, honey. Listen, I was about to just do the shave. Hey, D. Hey, she said it's 
Las Vegas, girl, I ain't mad at you because one year y'all didn't have no water. Y'all better be careful where y'all going. You need to call people and say, do y'all have water? There was a water shortage. Okay. So we're doing oh natural, no makeup, just coming straight, coming to you straight. I keep power eight. Thank you. I got some power eight. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Okay. Hold on. I got this from Walmart. Tell Ricky. I actually bought him one, but he was so mad when he left. He didn't get to get, get his. Okay. So anyway, yes. Power eight. Thank you. Um, and let me show you what I also bought. Because I was trying to get money back for Ricky. So I just paid like $4 for that. And then I don't know where the M&Ms are. But I was like, Jesus, this is the devil. Where the M&Ms at, Jesus? Well, well, anyway, I'm trying to eat them one by one. Lord, deliver me from the spirit of M&Ms and peanuts. Now, I'm going to show you all something we used to do when we were kids. Y'all know what these are? Anybody who knows what this is, tell me. What are these? You get a whole bag of these for like $2.98 at Walmart. These are what's up for the summer. You freeze this thing. You cut it off. What you call this? Yum. I love them. Yes. What do we call them though? I don't know. Um, juice sticks. When you freeze them, honey, yum, yum, yum. I eat them like two at a time. What's going on? No makeup and you are strength. Blow me a kiss to remember. Michael, don't come for me right now, child. Don't come for me right now. Freeze pops. That's what they are. Get y'all some freeze pops. This also helps with, with weight loss. You know, because it's so hot outside. You don't want to eat anything heavy. And then I've been eating um, uh, Jello. I've had Jello. The snack pack for a dollar, four, four dollars. I've been doing it. Okay, what I say? Freeze pops. Yes. Get you some freeze pops. I'm going to tell you this, this hits the spot and you don't feel fat afterwards. I mean, you know, but on your fatness here on your fatness, that means you're going to do something about it. Cause Lord knows I sure am, honey. Okay. Let me tell you something else I've been doing. Baby. I want to got me some prune juice here. I got some prune juice. This came from the dollar tree, baby. Let me tell y'all something. This one right here. I had to call nine one one, but it only worked one time. So somebody said I need to get. 100% prune juice without all the additives and I not from concentrate I said listen y'all need to make up your mind because first of all I didn't like prune juice or prunes so I gave it a try baby I went back to the Dollar Tree and I got like six of these at a dollar a piece and then come to find out I was drinking it again and it didn't do anything you know kind of like it was teasing me it was teasing my colon all right so y'all got a little more time with me mm -hmm. I'm just chilling Dolores Jones here You'll come back coach i'm like everybody else i'm like everybody else okay i'm like everybody else without makeup baby it's too hot for you to be trying to impress somebody yes i need a prune juice i tried it because somebody told me to try it i asked my sister ronnie if she wanted to try it she was like no I said it'll help your colon. <laughs> but then also I've been trying to do my smoothies. I, I've just been off. I haven't been juicing the way I should. And if once I start juicing again, it's going to be great. Emily, what you say? I freeze my prunes. Really? Okay. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll freeze my grapes, but I don't know about prunes. Okay. And I almost went and got some, what do you call it? Uh, molasses or something? I don't know. But anyway, desperate times, you do different stuff. Hey, Judge Martinez says you are beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate you. Now, can I say that the judge is fine? Okay. He's a fine judge. Uh, like I had this doctor not too long ago, honey. He was one of them uh, visiting assistants. Baby, he was so fine. I was like, would you like to um, give me my yearly exam? He was like, no. I said, you sure? <laughs> I said, I feel faint. I feel sick. So I made sure that all my doctor's appointments were when he was there. And I said, is he going to be there? They were like, yes. I said, put me down. And when he left, I was like, I think I'm going to have to just find another, a whole other doctor's office because that man was beautiful and he was knowledgeable. He was a white guy, too. And he was, he was thick. He was just so pretty. He was, you know how they just be like, you be like, damn, I am. You know, 
You you ever met somebody and they're so good looking that you lose your words? You be like, hold up. Hello. You got a girlfriend, Norbit? Now you do. <laughs> Don't make me get the church fan, Jesus. Don't make me get the church fan. Don't make me do it. Maybe I should put this down. Oh, Jesus. Loose here and let me go. All right. So anyway. Anything else y'all want to talk about before I jump off here? I just wanted us to have some fun. Life is so, can be so challenging and you have to learn to laugh because if you don't, you'll die unhappy. I don't want to come back and talk about some of that too. How not to die unhappy. Okay. Let's see. Was this one of the one? Oh, oh. I was checking my filters. Y'all got this new little toy. I got this new toy. What is this? What is that? Oh, was that better? No. Which one is it? Which one did y'all like? Yeah, let's go back to it. Is that the one I had? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to get brightness. Anyway, okay, great. So, um, hot flat. Girl, don't come for me. Don't come for me, beta, because you know what? I think that is what's going on with me, too. That's why I can't go outside. I might not be able to go outside. Don't look for me at church tomorrow. Just don't even look. Don't look. Here. Don't look. This is Sister Dolores at home. She watching church from home. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'll get my shout on right here in my bedroom and I will still be here when Shiloh comes. Okay, what's somebody else say? I'm getting close, y'all, because y'all know what? Okay, working from home since March. It's not indeed singing freedom, bucket naked every day. Girl, Faye, you can't be naked at your job. Let me tell you why you still need to get dressed up if you're working from home. Because you feel like you're doing something. But Faye, if you can do it, that's fine. But for me, baby, I can't do it. It's like my whole mindset is different when I dress up. Even if it's, you know, for, uh, like, I was so proud of myself on Friday. Because, y'all, I'm going to start doing some copywriting. I know one of my gifts is writing. And so I'm finally going to embrace it and get paid. Because I'm not looking forward to going back to anybody's job uh, because of coronavirus. And, and a lot of my work that I do is, is hands-on with people. And I said, oh, no, devil. You're not going to trick me. Mm -mm, you're not going to trick me. You're not going to trick me. And you know when you really don't want a job, your stomach starts feeling, you know. I, I was having a hard time, and my, my uh, doctor told me many years ago, 2008, to come out of social work. And I was like, honey, do you know how much money I paid for this, this master's degree in social work? And I went back anyway. I was hard-headed. So I actually should have been out of social work back in 2008. It's 2020. So let's just say I, me and the thing, we've been trying to dance to it. But social work, as I know it, is not for me. I got to accept that. And coronavirus has helped me see that. And so I'm going to talk about one day. I'm going to talk about, and now a lot of people are going to be mad, um, the 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 blessing in the storm of, of coronavirus. We're going to talk about that because there is a blessing in the storm of coronavirus. Now, y'all know everybody's gonna go somebody y'all might even go on the toilet i mean i've heard people dying on the toilet they had to call the fire company you just never know you just want to be ready and how do you be ready you want to use your life to the fullest and i'm not talking about going out somewhere and you know drinking and get toe up i'm talking about thinking about the things that bring you satisfaction and a whole lot of action i'll drink to that mm, mm, mm. it ain't the best honey but it'll do okay so yeah, so get dressed. Hey, LaCheryl. Le hey, Joy. Veda. Okay, I love you too. Tell mom and Pooh hi. If I see him, honey, you know I ain't going outside. Uh, only dress up if I'm I'm live. Freedom, ladybug. I know. I'm, I'm saying to each his own. Uh, to each his own. But on Friday, I had to take uh, this this um, training. I paid for it, okay? And I was like, Dolores, now do you want to, you know, sit in here, and, you know, you just got out of the bed or do you want to go in the bathroom and hit your shower, you know, do your hair up, you know, just put something on. Make sure you, you don't shave off your eyebrows because you almost did that one day and just be ready. And it put me in a different state of mind. So that's what I'm saying. But if you can be naked and work from home, God bless you. I can't. The pillow will be like, you know, you naked, right? I'd be like, mm -hmm. and it's like, come here, girl. It's been doing that for quite some time. So. Anyway, I'm just happy to be alive. Okay, I got Marion. I got uh, Janelle Barksdale. How you doing? Lucy. How y'all doing? 
tell your father I said hello. Janelle and I met back when I was at Mizzou. I got my journalism degree from there back in <coughs> 1994. And I, I went to their church. I think it's called Monument of Faith. Honey, listen. Your father taught me how to study the Bible. Pastor Barksdale taught us how to study. And he said, in order to understand what's going on in the scripture, you need to read the this chapter before that chapter and the chapter afterwards. And that is how I tend to study now. And it really helps me. It gives me insight. You know, not taking stuff and running with it and you don't even know what you're talking about. Don't you hate that? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, so we're just having some fun. It's so hot outside, I could not remember my PIN number at Walmart or at the ATM. And it was kind of embarrassing. Okay, it was kind of embarrassing. And then when Ricky said, Mom, if you don't leave that stuff in the basket at Walmart, I'm going to leave you here. I, start, I, started, I started to test him. And I said, girl, you know it's hot outside. I said, okay, Ricky. For those of you who don't know what happened, you have to go back and watch the video about me and Ricky um, and him pushing out the basket. And actually, the stuff on the top of the basket was mine. And it was all this other stuff, you know, in the basket. And I was talking to the, the worker at, um, at Walmart. And I'm trying to tell the young man, I said, the only stuff that's mine is on top and he said oh, just take the basket bitch just take the basket and I'm like have you ever just like froze like I don't know what to do so I just pushed the basket to the car and Ricky's like now had I not had I stopped talking Ricky wouldn't have known the difference right and so I was like lord I don't have need for these shakes these vanilla supplements yuck nasty and then they had some other little stuff in there I thought I don't know what those things are what are those for um and then they had a little book, you know, because it was one of those baskets where they were so go, they call them the go backs. Well, I just took the own basket anyway. So he, he refused to let me take any of the items, even though the guy at the store told me to just go ahead. And Ricky said, you should have just left that basket right there. And listen, y'all, that's exactly what we did in the. Now, imagine this in the parking lot. Somebody from Walmart, one of the workers, are, they had to go up and see this basket with all this stuff in it. Because Ricky wouldn't let me take anything. He said, Mom, you must stand in integrity. I said, you're right. So I gave him my word. But, you know, sometimes, have you ever just got so uh, nervous that you agreed to something because you, like, kind of froze? You was like, I'm like, okay. I know. And I told him I froze. And he said, no, you didn't. But I did. I felt like I froze. I didn't know what to do. And I was like, he said, take it, Ricky. <laughs> Mom, did you buy this? No. We're putting it back. I'm like, Ricky, but the basket is going to be right in here. Forget the basket, Mom. Let's go. And I want to say, I'm the mama. Don't you talk to me like this. But he was right, and it was too hot to argue with my son. And I believe he was going to leave me and Bella out there in that heat. And I was going to be real heated anyway. So, yeah, so hot. I came home, took a shower, and then I gave Bella a bath, honey. And she thanked me. And um, she, you know, how they lick you and kiss you. And I said, you know, I'm the best dog mom. Ever. What'd you say? Those baby sips, you you trying to save it for the week? Mike, don't do it. I should what should I have? No, I just I'm not really fond of the taste. You know how some things you get because it's just hot outside. It's so hot outside, you buy stuff you normally wouldn't even buy. Mm hmm Yeah. So my life is uh going in a positive uh direction now. Um I have a new hero. Her name is Tawana Williams. She's the lady that I featured on my page. Tawana was born without arms. And she has a book called Unarmed But Dangerous. And so if you're sitting around with the activities of your limbs uh, and you're complaining, then you definitely want to Google Tawana Williams. Her story is amazing and it's one thing to watch people's stories it's one thing to meet them actually right you you can watch and i i guess that's why people say doors i'm so happy to meet you now i know what they're saying because i'm like girl i'm just the girl down the street somebody said no you're not you're not the girl next door i said don't mess up my story if i want to be the girl next door if i want to be the girl down the street around the block and the corner i'm gonna be it okay but it's just something about actually meeting someone who whose story changed your life and so when i called tawana williams uh because she gives you her number on her video and she, her husband answered and put her on the phone and we just had the most lovely conversation but 
everything that Tawana has done, now Tawana is about 55 years old, everything she has done in her life have been with her toes. The doctors told her mom that she would die because she didn't have her limbs because they gave her, her mom the wrong medicine. But her mom and grandmother said, you can do whatever you want to do. So they started to instill in her at an early age, you can do whatever you want to do. They dressed her up beautifully. She was in pictures. I mean, her, her self-esteem was the bomb. But it didn't come without challenges, right? And so she talked about uh, a friend of hers uh, introducing her to crack cocaine. Well, the devil is just shrewd, right, ain't he? And so she couldn't, she, now you know she couldn't hold the pipe herself. So her friend put the pipe to her mouth and she was hooked for 10 years. That ain't no friend. That's the devil. Why would you take your friend somewhere and hook them on something that could kill them? So for 10 years, here she was walking around, no arms. Um, it was just horrible. It, 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 her story was crazy. And then she had a child, a daughter. So she had to figure out how to put a diaper on a baby with your toes. And honey, she demonstrates that. She can still do it. I was trying to play with my toes to see if I could even catch up with her. She can she can draw pictures. She's drawn pictures of Oprah, of Barack Obama, and a lot of these pictures she sends to people. And you have to understand the magnitude. This lady is taking her feet, her her toes, and whatever she had to do to put a sock on. Her spirit is so amazing. So anyway, um, y'all ready to be done with this? Uh, Marion said, I'm a little scary. Oh, thank you, Carlton. Baby, listen, you don't want to wake up the next day and be like, who this? Who this? Hoppo, who this woman in my bed? You ever, you ever, you know, just Jesus. But ladies, let me, let men, listen, let me tell you something. Women want to know what you look like too. What your breath smell like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you using dye on your hair, y'all remember when uh, coronavirus first hit and Kevin Hart couldn't go get his hair dyed? I was like, oh Lord. And then who's that? Khalif? Oh my God. Did y'all see Khalif? Is that his name? The DJ? Baby, when I saw that man, he looked like he was in a lineup. Number 102A turnaround. Do you hear me? So don't you tell me what Dark and Lovely doesn't do for men and women. Don't you tell me what Clairol doesn't do for the people. Because some of these people that we feel are celebrities, baby, let me tell you something. They didn't wake up like that. And if they did, they had a lot of work to do. I said, y'all better open up a barbershop and let uh, DJ Khalid back up in there. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Because, you know, it's like you see them. And if sometimes if you see people and they're not all dolled up, you, you, got, you go, who is that? And that's how you really should see people. You need to see people just natural. Right? And and um, let's see how it affects you. But listen, I got to come back on here and do another video. I've been watching this series on Netflix called Love on the Spectrum. And it's a show about uh, people who have some type of autism. And how they go about love. And honey, it is the bomb. Because think about it. Some people with autism, they compartmentalize. For some of them, that's all they have. They focus on this and that's that. And so they don't have time to get caught up in all of this craziness. I mean, they literally have to focus. They have to learn how to interact with people. And I have learned so much. Yes. And I said, that's why I've been single. We've been doing it wrong. That show with autistic uh, people, it's a beautiful show. So if you get a chance, go find it. I think it's only five episodes in the series, but it is wonderful. I'm hooked on it. I even start sending it to people. Because just think about it. Sometimes when we have so much out there, we get distracted. Right. We get distracted. And so for for those that I saw on the show, they were focusing on things like, do we have chemistry? Is there a connection? They weren't talking about where you work in. No, they were they were like, do you like to paint? I like to paint. You want to go to the museum? Let's go to the museum. And then sometimes for some people dealing with autism, they can't talk. So they're different. That's what they say. Spectrums of it. But here's the thing. Depending upon when you're diagnosed, you can start to grow out of that. 
because it's all about you know one thing they have to learn about the behavior they have to you know uh one lady was sitting with one gentleman he's an asian guy at, the, at his desk she came to his house to prepare him for a date see some people need that and you know she was trying to she had to draw pictures and show this is you this is her these are the things you have in common these are the things that you don't like and so uh, the biggest tip that i got from that is when a person person who is autistic is looking for love one of the ways that one of the the, the therapists said she said don't take it as rejection take it as practice and I want to pass that on to you. Um, yeah, I probably need to stop this video and start a new one because this one's getting kind of long, right? Okay. Anyway, y'all, click tag and share the video. Hey, Steve Scott. Um, who else is that? Johnny Quest. Come on, DJ. Won't you play that song? Keep me. Lloyd Adams. Hi, honey. Hi, Johnny. Don't you come in my video late talking about the bra all baby. You better add some more to this combo. Say shun. Okay, all right now, you know people pick out what they want. She said she didn't have no bra on, and you know what else I said in this video? I don't know. I don't know. She said she didn't have no bra on, and then she showed us these things that you buy for your nipple, and and it's too small. And and I showed y'all that this will take your whole nipple off. Do y'all see that? Y'all see that? Do y'all see this? This will take your nipple off. So you need to be very very careful and make sure you get the correct size. If, if your nipple is bigger than that, then your breast, this is too small. I'm trying to save you some pain, honey. You be like, ah, ah. <laughs> don't go to no party wearing one of these things. You sweating and dancing and come home. They just going to have to call 911. Just put some ice on it, okay? All right, let me get off of here, and I'm going to come back and do another video. I'm just in the mood today. Okay. Okay. Bye, y'all.